Do you think you know Lost? Well, here's 15 things you may not have known about the survivors of Oceanic Flight 815. We're survivors of the crash of Oceanic Moon, Flight get out! 815. Please copy. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Lost was conceived by then ABC head Lloyd Braun while on vacation. Braun wanted a show that was a cross between Castaway, Survivor, Gilligan's Island, and Lord of the Flies. Basically, he wanted a new show about people on an island. Braun contacted alias creator J.J. Abrams about writing the pilot. While pitching the show to ABC, J.J. Abrams assured the network that Lost would not be serialized, a viewer would need no prior knowledge of the preceding episode, and that there was no ultimate multi-season spanning mystery that needed to be solved. What? 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 Jack wasn't supposed to survive past the first episode. The intention was to shock the audience with the character's death so they wouldn't know what to expect. Missed your chance to pull a Game of Thrones before Game of Thrones lost. Abrams originally intended to cast Michael Keaton for the role of Jack back when they still intended to kill him off. Keaton didn't want to commit to a TV series, so the one episode role would have worked out nicely. However, the producers felt that the audience would have become too attached to the character of Jack, and the role was changed into a series regular. Keaton never even received the pilot script. Any color preference? <laughs> Standard black. In the original script, Kate was supposed to be a 30-something businesswoman, and when Jack dies in the first episode, would become the leader of the survivors. Series creator Damon Lindelof cited the PC game classic Myst as a major influence on the story of Lost. Commenting on the narrative of the game, Lindelof said, quote, No one told you what the rules were. You had to walk around and explore these environments, and gradually, a story was told. Lost's epic two-part pilot ended up being the most expensive pilot in ABC history. The episode reportedly cost somewhere between $10 and $14 million, which is two to three times the average cost of a television pilot at that time. Braun was fired before the pilot aired, reportedly for greenlighting such a costly project. Jorge Garcia auditioned for the role of Sawyer, but didn't fit the role. The producers liked him so much that they decided to create the character of Hurley specifically for him. And who doesn't love Hurley? I mean, even the band Weezer does. Seriously, they named an album after him. Look, that's his face right there. All right, we're not gonna take any more of this stuff than we need because nitroglycerin is extremely temperamental. So we just... <laughs> Dude. In fact, Matthew Fox and Dominic Monaghan read Sawyer's lines as well, because the characters of Jack and Charlie weren't fully fleshed out. Four, eight, 30, 60, 20, appear throughout the series, most famously as the cursed numbers that Hurley chooses for his lottery ticket. Hurley wasn't the only one picking those numbers because they instantly became a popular choice for lottery players. On January 4th, 2011, a Mega Millions drawing matched four of the lost numbers, earning several thousand people at least $150. The numbers. Cursed. Lost takes place in a wide setting. There's the island, LA, Sydney, New York, London, Miami, South Korea, and Iraq. But in fact, almost all of the shooting occurs on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Many urban sections of Honolulu were repurposed as stand-in locations. We can find food. There are plenty of things on this island we can use for sustenance. And exactly how are we gonna find the sustenance? We hunt. John Locke's name, as well as his alias Jeremy Bentham, and his father Anthony Cooper, are the names of 17th and 18th century British philosophers. In fact, there are quite a number of references to philosophers and character names throughout the series. You don't know who you're dealing with! Don't ever tell me what I can't do, ever! This is destiny. This is destiny. This is, this is my destiny. This is, I'm supposed to do this, damn it! Don't tell me what I can't do! Canadian actress Evangeline Lilly was one of the last actors cast for the show and almost wasn't legally allowed to work on the show. She was having difficulty securing an appropriate employment visa to work in the US. The production pushed all of her scenes back in order to allow more time. On the last day that the production could wait for her, she was finally given the proper visa, got on a plane that day, and flew directly to Hawaii to begin shooting. In the show, Sun hides that she is fluent in English from Jin and eventually teaches him the language after he discovers her secret. This actually is the opposite of reality, as Daniel Day Kim hadn't spoken Korean regularly since he was a teen, and Eugene Kim helped him become reacquainted with the language during filming. Who could forget the catchy tune to Drive Shaft's hit, You All Everybody? You all everybody? You all everybody? You never heard that song? I've heard it, I just don't know what the That's hell it is. That's us! Has... 
drive shaft. Turns out Dominic Monaghan improvised his humming melody during the filming of the first pilot episode, and then they had to write a song around that. And here's a bonus one, drive shaft, take it away. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com. 